Hi everybody, Howard Sherman at Crowdfund Buzz, making a video uh, that I've had on my mind for a long time. It is the whole Facebook ad fallacy where a lot of you crowdfunders, and I'm really today going to be talking to the equity crowdfunders, need to know about what is going on with Facebook ads um, and deconstruct on the back end, what Facebook ads can do for you, what is usually happening, and why you need to really wake up and reassess your Facebook ad strategy. And with this video, you'll have fresh information uh, empowering you to make informed decisions. Let's start with, and by the way, I'm calling out companies here. I'm not here to name shame. This is really informational, like RoboVet. I'm not calling them out, but here's a red on my Facebook. Uh, they're on WeFunder. Take a quick look at what they got going on. Uh, they're nowhere near their, their funding goal. In fact, heck, their early bird, they're 100,000 short of that. All right. So we have a campaign that's not really meeting its metrics. This campaign isn't new. I've been seeing it around for a while now. But let's look at the part of this that really is the, 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 the source of your new knowledge. The comments. We've got 84 likes, 6 comments, 23 shares. Not bad. But... Uh, comment number one, six weeks ago, public money so the CEO can get paid 30000 a month indirectly. Only idiots will buy your stock under these terms. Ouch. Tell the work, let's support the CEO. Not really a strong answer, but they, they tried. Uh, who's Weinberg Medical Physics, the financial entity that gets paid and owns all the IP? So th this guy here uh, broke something about who's one of our medical, they're getting all this money, they own the IP of RoboVet, uh, presumably or allegedly. Anyways, Anna es Esposito, next comment. That's a very beautiful picture of a nice dog. Well, that's very nice. Uh, here's somebody spamming for their hemp works thing. That looks like an affiliate code. Oh, look, another ad about these guys here on WeFunder. We'll get to them next. So here's a guy spamming his own deal, riding on the coattails of this ad, which costs RoboVet money. And this guy is spamming his thing for his uh, hemp works. And probably, I'm guessing that's an affiliate code where he gets paid money on every sale made or whatever. Um, uh, that comment is kind of neutral. If that's interested, yeah, maybe. Here's the thing. Every time there's engagement on a Facebook ad, the Facebook you know, algorithm kicks in with, okay, 84 likes, 20 shares, six comments. So this, this ad is going to get seen more and more and more reflecting everything here uh, in activity that Facebook feels will be of interest to other Facebook people, which is how they make the Facebook experience, uh, to quote them, more relevant or more meaningful. All right, let's go on to our next one. Now let's close that down. Shark Wheel. This one is a hoot, too. Uh, I saw them on Shark Tank. Uh, they, they didn't get a deal there. Um, they're almost sold out. That's cool. But I, I wonder how much money they spent to get there on Facebook ads. I'll get to that in a couple of minutes. Let's look at their ad. Uh, the angel investors. We funder minimum investment. We got we got some laughs here. 
pretty fun to view people. Uh, so, pretty good engagement, lots of comments, not that many shares. Commentary, via uh, can't find a price, uh, this guy just needs some help. They came back a week later, not really cool. If you're running Facebook ads, you got to be on it and on it constantly. Don't let a, a thing wait for a week before you address it. Uh, where are the articles showing the thing 20 hours ago? Okay, faster answer. Seven out within the same day or so, uh, they came back with articles uh, and a study, uh, academic um, research. Okay, cool. You know, that's in their favor. Not not good enough. I want to read. I want actually study to read. He wants the, the study. Um. Same same answer response. Cool. Um, I want to see this link to the study or it didn't happen. Stop trying to bullshit a mechanical engineer. Support your claim with oh woof, it just got real. And uh, this guy agrees. Support your claims, credible as they, or be reported as a scam. And no answer to that. All made in the same hour period of time. Uh, if I was a guy, uh, over at Shark Wheel, I would jump on this and answer quickly. Uh, great product and future small investor. Okay, good dialogue. Good dialogue. Com uh, good compliment. Good that that's in his favor. In his favor. Uh, not in his favor. Feels like a, like a scam. A company that is a new product. But I can't find anywhere what are the benefits of that new product against the solution, you know, like wheels. Because the shark wheel is a square. And uh, wheel wheels are round. Uh, so Marion comes out with, sure, who cares? It was not really better than the status quo. It's not an investment opportunity. It's just a scam. So shares are something that doesn't matter to global people. Ouch. Now, this could have gotten answered because that was eight hours ago. This was seven hours ago. So these guys saw the comment. I'm, I'm guessing they were, they were made aware of it. And uh, they left this bad comment hanging out there. Uh, I love going bump, bump, bump with my wheels. So he made a comment like square wheels. Really? Um... Square wheel, laughter, a couple, a couple of memes going on here. Um, uh, oh, this guy, he's, he's still trolling it. This guy's back with more. Uh, low distribution. Uh, tread on wheels, on wheel. Uh, really not what I call constructive. And again, back to the algorithm. Every time Facebook gets a new res response from these ads, up, up goes the algorithm. More folks get uh, in line to see this. The positioning is this appears in more Facebook feeds. And look what happens next. Your cost per day for your ads go up. As people troll your thing along with, with the good comes the bad. And I'm sorry to say, but reality is uh, the negative comments, the snarky people, uh, their their bad their their bad comments are gonna dwarf the good ones. Next one. Uh, why is this here? Oh, here we go. Genesis AI. Hey, what was that? That's good to know. Um, okay, this one is is a hoot. You're gonna love this one. This this one is hysterical. Another wee funder. I'm not picking a wee funder, by the way. I'm not playing favorites here. Uh, investing in just yeah, the global A network, buy and sell anything at scale. Okay. 80 like, 64 comments. These are funny. How do I invest? An uh, angle, okay, angel investment. Uh, angel investment. Um, he's arguing already about what that is. Uh, they're both right and they're both wrong. Um, I was the link. I want money back on my money, not stocks. 
Good comment, actually. Uh, oh, look, another ad for another another uh, campaign. I think they were in Seed Invest. And this is going on all day long. So he's paying money for this side ad here. While these guys are paying more money for their ads because of all the engagement. And with more engagement comes more exposure, higher CPM, and up go your daily costs right up to your budget getting maxed out on guys like this that don't want to buy a stock. He wants, like, I'm guessing a dividend. What do you get? Fair question. Fair answer. Uh, fair question. Hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Uh, good question. We turned us for your IPO. That guy liked. Probably not dust. A lot of investors' money ends up as soon as. <laughs> okay, now now we're trolling. Probably not dust. A lot of investors' money ends up as someone's new house, car, or boat. Oh, and by the way, what what he's saying, and you'll see this more later in our in our uh, takedown here. A lot of people on equity crowdfunding, or or maybe not even equity crowdfunding, but on a broader term, if you're not on Nasdaq or or New York exchanges, or if you're not you know if you're not a listed company, even over the counter OTC, uh, people get skeptical right then, right there on the spot, and your ads are not going to stop that. In fact, your Facebook ads kind of fuel that fire because anybody can put an ad up. For anything pretty much uh, and and put up their deal and then the public decides this is a scam uh, you're gonna buy the guy a new house a new car he'll get his Lambo yada 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 uh, okay oh now I get down to the, to the t2 stuff here the Terminator Skynet stuff uh, this is the Eagle Eye program hell no this needs to be stopped no one should be using technology for this reason cool answer though they, they kind of kept it cool all, all was, AI is good, Vinny. Oh, I thought he was saying all, all good. Now, if he said all good, that would be a good answer. AI is good, Vinny. <laughs> and Vinny comes back with, says the AI system. And then it's funny, I'm sorry. AI is good. <laughs> like robot voice. Um, new guy, cut the, the bullshit and call it Skynet. Uh, that got 13 comments. Ten people like this about the Skynet thing. Three are laughing. I'm laughing too. What's Skynet? I came, I came here. I came here to say exactly this. Now don't forget, Genesis AI. They're paying money on every comment, every every reply here. I came here to say exactly this. So so did I. Lol. Uh, I mean, not Skynet. Try Eagle Eye using the five G network. And his answer, uh, a little, a little light, not Skynet. Um, a little light. Watch Eric Connor and T2 <laughs> describe what it is. Then comment back to a different. Uh, no answer yet. Uh, I want to see that answer. I'm actually enjoying these ads just for the commentary, the trolling, the snarkiness. I, I mean, it is funny, and I feel bad for all these campaign uh, managers that are watching their money go out the window up in smoke on all these trolls and all these uh, commentators making an ad funny, but getting away from the point of why they're advertising. They're, you know, these guys are paying money to get investors. And they're wasting money on people having a good old time on their ad. And they're, they're not, they're, they're just about at the halfway point in their goal um, and with, with, with all these comments here, they're not getting any closer. They're just wasting their money on, on the hopes that the raise goes up. Now make a note of that. They're wasting money on Facebook ads on the hopes that their raise increases. <laughs> okay. Um, turn to Gen oh, that happened turn to Genesis. AI is great. Everyone thought that we gone. Where we gone? Da, 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 da. I thought about the same thing. It almost did, right? People making noise. Okay, now we have a Y2K thing. The apocalypse. Now, again, none of this has any bearing on the offering. 
It's just people just shooting the breeze uh, at this guy's expense. And every time a comma gets, gets up there, algorithm gets triggered, and then all this back and forth continues. But where, where are the stock buys? Now, this guy's saying is that this company is Skynet. You might think I'm crazy now, but when them Terminators start terminating your all asses, you'll remember this moment. Lawrence tried to warn us. I mean, this, I mean, this is just funny already. Um, hope you're enjoying this too. See, again, bad answer. He's feeding into it. Genesis AI will amplify humanity. Wrong answer, dude. Rise of the machines. Again, this, this answer poured gasoline on this fire, which started this new fire. You see, four likes, four... And this guy's not following the trend that all these people, 13, 2, 2, 4, 4, he's not getting the clue here. He's got to get the message here that his message on this Facebook ad, it's not working. I'm going to selection now. Okay, your selection, anti-war candidates, put I, global war. I mean, where, where's the discussion? Amazon is going to control the AI. AI. Um, not a bad answer to that. It's the future. Can't stop it. Okay, not a bad comment. General Revolution, good answer. Harvard's left-wing political motivated university. Um, okay. Why does that matter here? I don't know what? Harvard graduates. Uh, uh, again, you know, algorithm, 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 algorithm. I mean, trigger, trigger, trigger. I mean, what? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing maybe, possibly, I won't go into detail here with that. <coughs> On the campaign page, the CEO or somebody is a Harvard grad. Maybe, yes, maybe. Um, but it, it really doesn't matter, or at least... Could, could the troll put the comment in a context? Whatever. Again, back to Skynet. AI, AI for good. And back to the robot answer. Um, could be a robot. Can't rule it. That could, I mean, I'm not being funny here. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. But all, all of these short, canned, non-contextual answers might be a bot. Um, no pun intended. Not trying to make a joke here. But I don't think a person, or if there is a person here, if it's a person, they're not getting the context of this dialogue. And every time they come back with an answer, they're just, it's more gas in that fire again. Uh, this guy, good advice, and I agree with him. Never use Facebook as a marketing strategy to sell stock, especially if the product has been covered by a popular sci-fi series or movie. Sorry, it is funny. He's not wrong. The, the Facebook ads, you know, yeah, we'll do it for a minute. Facebook ads, I think, should be part of your larger strategy. That being said, your Facebook ad should not be the strategy. Like, if you're putting everything on Facebook ads to get you to a million dollars, you're going to be disappointed. You're not going to be pleased with the outcome. You're not going to get to a million dollars on your raise with comments like this, or even no comments. I've never seen a campaign yet hit their entire funding goal just because of Facebook ads. And this guy's right. Uh, these guys are just AI. Take, take, take the hint. Stop your ads. They're not helping. Not a Skynet. I mean, if this ain't a bot, I don't know. It's either a bot or a lazy person. I don't know. But he's not, and again, no answer to this at all. Skynet, not a Skynet. I mean, that's not helping, man. Terminator 2, something prophecy, a glitch like Y2K, you know, Ultron's alive. Cool. <laughs> now we're going to the Avenger movies. <laughs> okay. Um, Terminator, Imminent Friday. Now, okay, Power Rangers, right on. 
Uh, here's the Terminator machine. Uh, I want to have VN. I got I'm VN. Uh, so I guess it's got Terminator, Skynet. It's got Terminator. Um, don't get this at all. Skynet. You know, right, right out of the movie. <laughs> I mean, Terminator. Death to Skynet. You'll kill us all. I mean, this. I mean, this. This ad at this point ran off the rails. This ad is out of control. Uh, this is when you stop your ads. When you're getting this feedback, and, and this is going on for a week, uh, week, week, four days, week, week, week. I mean, that that's that's your red light signal to stop these ads. Another ad, start engine, um, night scope. I'm telling you, and we're going to cover this too. All these dag blame ads all day long. We're going to cover that very shortly. Now, this looks like plain old spam. Or is this the, the South Park thing? Well, whatever it is, it ain't nothing about. I think it's the South Park thing. Yeah, South Park. Robots. Okay, so this is going on for days on end. It's not going to go away. Uh, dude, take the hint, get the message, stop running Facebook ads, and give me a call. Howard Sherman, Crowdfund Buzz. Now, we're going to close out that deal and go on to these guys. All right, Thoughtful Toys. I like the idea. I like the toys. I spoke with the president of the company. He's on the fence thinking about us. But no pressure. But um, your ads aren't working. Um, in fact, I saw more than one ad. Again, Nightscope. He just paid more money for that right there. Um, this, is, this is a great picture. The thing is, and really high engagement. The thing is, this guy asked a great question. And I'm going to cover that like right after this. Th this is a new trend in Facebook. Where are wh where are all these companies asking people to invest in them, springing up from all this at, at the same time? Bingo! Thank you, Facebook. And thank you, um, Mr. Phillips, for making another key point of mine. When, when you see all these different dag blame Facebook ads and like machine, I should well, rephrase that. I'm saying machine gun wrap me a rapid fire. But yeah, yeah, it is rapid fire. Um, Answered by Pub. Because these are bad investments and those are people, investors, aren't going to put the money in. Read, read the prospectus. Usually existing stockholders have liquidation preferences. The entities have little or no profits, many with negatives, negative equity, no liquidity event in the future. Smart money doesn't chase these types of deals. Oops. Um, that was a week ago. Where is the response from management? There is none. They're asleep at the wheel and let this comment stand. And Two folks agree with it. Now, if you're running Facebook ads, you got to be all over these comments as part of your daily routine. You can't go to bed at night or in the morning, wake up, have your coffee, walk the dog, and jump on these comments because this thing out here for a week reminds me of the old saying, silence implies consent. If this is here for a week and these guys are silent, they're they're inadvertently, maybe involuntarily, um, unknowingly agreeing with it. Yeah, no clarity doesn't chase these types of deals. I guess as much, some guys must be behind this to rip, to rip off as much as they can. <laughs> oh shit, this is bad. Again, where a week a week ago. 
Where's the answer? Where's the damage control? And this guy just nailed what I said before on the head. The Facebook algorithm. You keep comment commenting, you'll get some more ads. That's how Facebook ads work, Nate. Dave's right. Dave is 100% correct. As more people comment on these, whether they're sincere investors, they're purely curious, or they're trolling, or they're being snarky, Facebook wins either way. Because the advertiser is going to be paying more money on their ads being displayed to people that frankly don't give a shit, or they just have to have fun at your expense. The commenter, or the guy liking or sharing it, gets more ads, which makes Facebook more money from all the guys running the ads. With me? Man, this, this thing should be like... Exactly. I, I do like that. Because this whole thread is correct. Where are all these coming asking them and springing up all at the same time? Let's go there now. Here's my feed. Cool. Eight new likes this week. Nice. All right. Uh, now you get a window into my personal life. Uh, we fund your ad for snake oil. That's one. Low engagement, too, because so probably he's not getting hit too hard, but also he's not getting any results. So let, uh, let's do a counter. We, uh, snake oil song, we fund her. Atari, yay, Atari. That's one. Hmm, I'm getting hungry. That's horrible. Zico games. Huh. Anyways, um, Atari. Uh, next ad. We thunder every day. That's my second ad. I want my third scroll. Scroll, scroll. That's a picture. Nice scroll. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Third ad. Republic a campaign for where well. Three likes, no comments. All right. Well, whatever. That's my third ad. Okay. Let's let's go back up here again. Top of my pay. Top of my feed. One ad. Two ads, three ads. It's nuts. That's the Facebook algorithm. Now, if I if I'm getting all these ads, oh look, now again, just say I'm back over here in the corner. Cha Ching, Facebook got paid again. Three ads in, in like what four or five scrolls. If I'm if, if I'm Joe Schmo, Jane Doe, John Smith, whoever. Can I possibly give money to all these different campaigns? Can I invest in all of them? Will I invest in any of them? Well, I'm not. But uh, this is what this guy was saying. Where are all these companies asking people to invest in them springing up from all at the same time? Here it is. Three ads. Oh, good. He should go to jail for that. I mean, really, you go to the store, you want to bring home a gallon of ice cream for you and the kids, wife probably likes the chocolate, whatever, and, 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 you, and, and you don't know that this person licked the ice cream before he, he got it home. I mean, come on, man. Gosh. Huh, he wanted to go viral. <laughs> Oh, and, and, and then some. All right, I digress. So we have our third ad. Uh, they are very good people. Add, add, add. That looks good. Bacon. Bacon and cook. I don't know. I, I wouldn't do that. Uh, third ad, third ad. I know there's more. It's inevitable. Baby elephants. Cool. Um, classic films, very nice. 
inventor process. This is almost crowdfunding. But I, we won't count it here, but it's almost crowdfunding. It's in the same demographic that Facebook thinks that I'm going to want, I, I like, and I kind of do. Well, hopefully this is probably so much better. That's funny. Uh, add, add, add. I don't know. I thought I would get more ads now, but I saw three ads for, oh, here's one. Number four. Start engine, Liberty Access. Again, why is this funny? I don't know. It's really just funny. Um, low activity, low engagement. Just out of curiosity, what's their deal? 136 raised. See, here's a guy that has to stop his ads. Very low engagement. He, he's nowhere near to his top goal of 1.07 million. Um, the share price is kind of low, but that, that's attractive in one way. But he's got to get more investors. And at $300 per investor minimum to get to a million plus, he's got a lot of work to do. But he won't get that done with Facebook ads. So that's four. Let's go out a little further. Um, coffee. Okay, now our X. That's number five. Uh, these guys are good. I like the I like the principles. They're not a client, but we had a great conversation. God bless them. Um, thirty four likes, one comment, five shares. They got a good thing going on. I really got to say. But uh, their raise is not what it could be or should be. Been already 10 times. They raised 5.5 .5 million. Nothing to sneeze at, believe me. But I think the max raise is what, 20 million? $20 million. So they're about 25% of the way to their goal. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, I'm going to make a Donald Trump quote from his business book. Swing for the fences. If your goal is 20 million, raise 20 million. If your ads aren't going to get you closer faster, stop the ad, run a new ad, or, again, shameless plug here, try us here at Crowdfund Buzz and get new investors. Look, another of Genesis AI. Look at this. A third ad on the side, and Facebook got paid again while we're having our chat. Just, just wondering. So these guys need to raise, or need to raise, or want to raise, or should raise $15 million more. Uh, I'll bet anybody here a free trip to Vegas, they're not going to get the $20 million running Facebook ads. Take my bet. I lose. I'll fly you and a guest in for the weekend in Vegas. Five-star resort, the whole thing. He's not going to raise $15 million, which, which is where his max goal was at, on Facebook ads. If I'm wrong, be my guest at Vegas for the weekend. I'll leave him by dinner. All right, so that's five Facebook ads for crowdfunding, so casual scrolling, and on the sidebar here, ads popping all the time. Okay. Uh, next victim. Liberty Access. Oh, I think I clicked on these guys from, yeah, right from before. They had really, uh, the ad had low engagement, uh, low everything. But uh, it's actually a nice idea. You know, I mean, helping people get on and off buses, Mobility is a huge thing these days. All those all those uh, scooters you see around uh, could be a good investment, but they're not going to reach people the way they, they want to. And they won't get to a million dollars the way they're doing now. So stop Liberty. Stop the Facebook ads. Try something different. Again, shameless plug, like CrowdFund Buzz. Okay, next one. 
Meso Robotics. Let's see here. Oh, this is another funny one. Oh, wait a minute. I digressed from... Okay, my bad. We I got off track. Okay, back on track with Fuffle Toys. I'm not done with them yet. All right, so here, uh, back on track. Blah, 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 all the ads, all the ads, all the ads. They're not wrong. All these ads, and again, back to that point to bring it home, investors are not going to put money on every ad. You know that, I know that. That's true of anything, of any ad for anything anywhere. But to see all these different ads for investing opportunities, uh, one after the, after the next, it's bad. Um, cause you all are paying money competing for that same small audience. And which one of you will, will win that lottery? Well, do I like thoughtful toys? Do I like robots? Do I like this? Do I like, this? you know, it's like long story short, your Facebook ads in the long term will probably end up costing you more money than they're worth in the short term. You might make out good, get some good hits, um, but long term, you're not going to really raise the kind of money you're looking for in Facebook ads. And as you're seeing now, look at how much money is wasted on all these comments. And these are right on. This ain't that Skynet thing with Terminator 2 and the, the bots are rising. And, and that was just plain funny. Um, I agree. The Facebook algorithm should be improved and begin to read the contents of people's posts. To check who don't want certain ads from the car. Well, that's that's what, hey, that's the eye again. That, that's but not a bad idea. Um, looking around, yeah, these guys have been and are in big places. They're in Walmart. They're in uh, big box retail everywhere, actually, and they're at the hot spots where tourists go. My grandson loves them. Good comment. Doesn't doesn't hurt the thing at all. In fact, this actually helps with, with stock sales because you know it's it's concept proven. They're selling them. Kids love them. And there we go. Okay, total spam post. Invest in Cajun products. Save your life very soon. Cajun gun will be on the map. On, well, on map. Total spam post. So they paid their money, and this guy gets a free ride. Um, this oh, whoops! Company's almost running on bankruptcy, horrible debt, declining turnover, hard pass. Ouch! Now again, where where's the reply? Like before, where are the replies from management about all of this? It's a ripoff. Read the prospectus. Liquidation rights. Uh, don't chase these kind of deals. Where's management asleep at the wheel? Oh, this one's a blast. I will not buy no $250 toy for a kid. I can do food shopping and pay a bill. Whoops. So so this guy, and I don't blame him. You see a couple of, a couple of kids playing with toys, having fun. I mean, the headlines, right? Invest. Go check it out. So so this guy clicked on the ad. Hey, they went down. I The last time I looked, they were like at 93,000 something. Ouch. So, so this poor guy looks at the ad. And he sees toys and kids playing. He didn't read this, but he clicked that. And then he, and then, so this guy clicks on that. He sees this. I mean, you know, I mean, true. It's very kids to explore more. I mean, it's good. But um, invest now 250. Well, you know, I mean, the, this guy's probably not the brightest bulb in the chandelier. But again, and this guy said, you know, this gal should have straight. No, no, no. It's what you should invest in the company for a toy. I think the wrong demographic for this ad. I have to agree. 
I, I, I have to agree. But again, money got spent, replies came in, algorithm gets recalculated, ad appears more, uh, but he's, he's not getting closer to that $1 million this way. And if my memory is correct, and I, I'm pretty good with memory, this guy had a $4,000 drop from the last time I looked. Um, call me old fashioned, this number should never go down. It should only go up, up, up in a way. But, you know, I'm old school. Um, his seven year, uh, seven of age Cody made this. That's very nice. Two weeks ago. Yay, Cody. I don't even know what this is. Call me curious. I can't even begin to guess. But Cody is, is making Paul Moyer very proud. That we can agree on. Now that, that we know. Uh, what are the girls' toys? Good question. What are the margins? Uh, what are the margins? Where are the answers to what are the margins? Send details five days ago. No reply. Hang on. Oh, sleep at the wheel. But altogether, this company could do very well, but they won't do it with Facebook ads. Keep watching the corner, by the way. Watch how the ads change. And how um, the CPM increases during our time together here. So, good ad, great products. Oh, by the way, one more. There's one ad I saw with these guys a few days ago. It was a beautiful video, vivid, crisp, professional. The commentary was very similar. Uh, where do I buy one? My, my, my kid loves them. I, I bought four so far, um, and that's not bad commentary. If, if you want to, if you're looking at, at buying stock in a company, and people speak to the fact it's a good product, that's only going to work in your favor. But oh gosh, if I catch it again, I'll I'll, I'll do a, a new YouTube video. But the the ad really didn't work out in the long term. Again, back to the commentary, the numbers aren't good. I mean, uh, the filings are. are, are are, are, are scaring people away, but I digress. This company has great potential, but their Facebook ads are not making a grade. And that's clear. Again, don't don't take my word for it. Uh, let's close out that one. Uh, right. We looked at them. This is back to, uh, I saw five ads for equity crowdfunding in a few screen scrolls. We got that done. Measure Robotics. This is another one where the ad ran off the rails. Okay. Um, I'm not going to get into the ethics of it. Um, labor versus automation. Look, another epigenesis. Cha-ching. Go, Mark Zuckerberg. You're getting richer and richer. Uh, I'm not going to explore the, the the ethics of the matter. Um, I'm not going to go into automated burger flipping, uh, the $15 per hour labor rate, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to look at the 90, a uh, few loves, lots of laughs, laughs. Make a note of that, laughs. Likes, 102 comments, 39 shares. Now, all the shares, because they think it's funny, as you will see, it's hysterical. Is it a good deal? Uh, again, we're, these, these Facebook ads are getting away from the point of the ad. Let's go look at, the, at their race so far. Meet Flippy. The world's first autonomous robotic kitchen assistant. 
I'm scared. Oh my God. It's the Genesis thing, the rise of the machines. Okay, I'm ki kidding, kidding, kidding. Uh, reserve shares. But, but, but my commentary is actually in line with the mindset. When people see all these freaking ads all day to invest in this, buy stock in that, the, the, the brain gets tired. 2.7 million raised. That's nothing to laugh at. Total raised $30 million. Amy valuation, that's, I think, ridiculous. But that's off the point of this video. I, I think that valuation is like a, to quote Mr. Wonderful, uh, on any five shark tanks, uh, on any three of the five shark tank shows you'll see, he'll talk about and complain about the ridiculous valuations that people have in their companies uh, relative to income. Here, $11 million a person or something is a burger chain. Five years. Um, but, but, but those are on sales. So they might make $11 million in five years on a burger chain. Uh, there, there is $15 million so far. 40,000 pounds of fried food and 9,000 burgers. Uh, good name drops. LA Dodgers, Arizona Diamondbacks, Chase Field. Okay. Um, serious company. They're delivering. The product works. And apparently it's being more received. However, the ad is not doing the job. Again, this is a Facebook ads fail. All right, let's see here. Uh, tight margins were due to the corporate executives and shareholders wanting as much money as possible. Automation was always in the game. Intelligent comment, worthy. Yeah, he agreed. I agree too. Good comment, supports the investment, rationalizes the decision to purchase. Oh, good piece of income. Okay. Thank you, Bernie. Killing the working class on mass. <laughs> not to go not to go go off topic here, but um on on and uh, why are we still power classes? Well, whatever. We'll move on. In terms of economics, advertising, marketing, promotion, PR has an important role in that. So is this. If you're a burger chain and, and your burgers cost, but let's say a, a burger meal costs five bucks, you get a burger, fries, and a drink. Hypothetically. If you got to pay the worker, let's say you're paying now um, eight, nine, ten dollars an hour. Let's say ten dollars an hour now. If your payroll costs go up by fifty percent to fifteen dollars, two uh, at least two obvious things come to mind. You have to raise your price of, of that five dollar meal to cover the raise and the rise in expenses, which then leads to a reduction in sales because as prices go up, gross sales volume goes down. Economics, look it up. I'm not a professor. I probably should be. Probably could be, but as prices go up, sales volume goes down. So they got to sell more burgers, fries, and drinks to cover those payroll costs. They must increase the price of, of that meal option to make payroll. I, whatever. But that, that, I'm not, again, here, I'm not here to ethically analyze the good or the bad of the deal. I'm here talking ads. Okay. So we're still, I don't know why we're still hourglassing, but we're hourglassing. Anyways, uh, so when Flippy, 
meet Flippy. So when we breaks down the loss of 100% of labor, rush pair will be high, specialized technician. Uh, that's actually a fair comment. If I'm an investor looking at this deal, smart comment. Da, 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 again, uh, human bird will be $15 an hour. For one flip, you replace six employees. Good conversation. It belongs here. This, this is an intelligent conversation, not funny. It's engaging and speaks to the deal. Does this make sense to me as an investor? I mean, then we have some commentary. It's it funny. He's probably being ironic, but good, good thread. Robotics, AI, da 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 da. Well, this is kind of funny. Robo waitresses, no attitude or sassiness. I'm in. <laughs> funny. Cool. I, cool. Yeah, not all in. Fifteen on our baby minimum wage, automation to keep prices where people can afford to purchase their products. That's what I said. If that meal goes from five bucks to nine dollars or eight dollars, they're getting the same food, the same burger, same fries, same drink, but at two, three, four dollars more for the meal. Uh, this guy nailed it. Leaving the comment section open is definitely going to make their business less appealing. You will either get people who are asking, what will happen to the workers? Or, <laughs> this is even funnier. Why does anybody respect me or love me? Flippy's never late. Never leaving these days off. Good comment. It will not demand $50 an hour. Won't feel a drug test. Work any shift. Not wrong. I mean, the commentary here is good. $15 an hour, pink slip, and a robot. You know, laughing, laughing, laugh. But it, it's a little off the rails. It, but at this point, rising wages, uh, one pack of ketchup or barbecue sauce. I mean, if I can get more ketchup or barbecue sauce, I'm in. I mean, it's funny. But it's not selling more stock. I mean, now it, it's off the rails. Six weeks ago, there goes minimum wage. Six weeks ago, minimum wage. Looking for a new job. Three weeks ago, my house. Three, see here, the commentary is weeks old. Six weeks old. So this is going on for six weeks. And, and, and how much closer do you think they are to the thirty million dollars of the two million? So they, they're they're not quite ten percent of the way there. And this is what they're wasting their money on. Facebook ad commentary from funny people. It's just a joke, trying to take away jobs. They're good ticker jobs. The South Park episode. Ticker jobs. Um, you know, gu guillotine, you know, greedy billionaires. Again, we're robots. So again, the conversation for weeks, two weeks, six weeks, for weeks, the conversation on, on becoming a Mizo investor has ran off the rails. And the, 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 the person paying for these ads is, again, asleep at the wheel. Um, what's the, the cash burn rate on this, on this ad alone? Uh, I, I hate to imagine. Raw burger, okay. But no, not not really wrong. Gray, gray wing, Cooper, burger, a little bit salt. Da, 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 da. Um, the commentary is mostly intelligent, but the majority of it is wasting time and wasting money on six weeks of commentary and zingers. Oh no, much from pay a living wage to employees. Good answer, actually. I mean, I'm not, you know, call me a pure capitalist, but if you're going to make a profit, you got to sell something at a price where it's profitable. That's where you win. But the consumer wins and getting a, a very reasonable price for what they want. It's got to be a win-win. It can't be uh, 
a one-sided transaction. Oh yeah, <laughs> they took your job right at right at South Park a week ago. <laughs> President, six weeks ago, vote for Flippy. I mean, six weeks of this. This is all money wasted. As the algorithm of Facebook triggers, the Z gets displayed more. People make make more jokes. The conversation is very sociable and mostly intelligible. That's nice. But where is the discussion of buying stock in the fucking company? Pardon my French. Well done, moi. Um, can I find this now? I'll, I'll do one more and wrap it up because I, I can go all day here. Uh... I was I was having a late dinner when I, I I saw this ad and I had to jump in and make a comment. Uh, now you're seeing my my inner life. No no no. Did really? Well, okay, well, where is it? Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. No, I went back too far. Um, trying to find that comp, there was a whole thread of commentary They say uh, Sunday, Saturday, Steve Martin, uh, I'm guessing around here. Donald. Well, whatever. It was it was another thread of Facebook ads, and um, they were talking about, and, and the spam level was like sky high. I, I forgot who it was. Yeah, I think it was Raiden. I'm guessing. I'll give it a shot. And same thing. The Facebook ads were out of freaking control. Oh, there it is. Okay. And, and the spam levels where it's like the number of people that were spamming the ads was like insane. Uh, no, ain't here, ain't them, whatever. Anyways, um, the point the point being is, I, I do think that. Ooh, looks like good soup. Look, yeah. Um. I do think that Facebook ads have a place and, and they should be <laughs> Skynet. The buzzer. Fight the power. Um, I think that Facebook ads have a place in things. I think they should be a part of your overall strategy. But when you're playing cards, you can't win the game with, with one card. And Facebook ads may seem like you're acing the hall, ace up your sleeve, what have you. The fact of the matter is, um, we don't know. I don't know. You don't know. At the outset, I think they should be tried. But you have to keep a very close eye on your ads. The comments can, as you've seen, can get out of control. Uh, your ad is, at that point, doing nothing but burning your cash. Uh, as you facilitate a, a, a podium for people to speak their mind, crack jokes, troll you, troll whatever, um, troll Bernie, troll Trump, uh, whatever. I mean, whatever. The, the, the point is that you're spending money on things that are not delivering what you want to spend the money on. Uh, that's clear. 
And I also agree that you can get some good money raising Facebook ads, but it can't be the only thing you do. You have to keep a close eye on them and the comments and watch, you know, you got to watch your charts, watch your graphs, how much, how much are you getting an engagement? How much is it leads to ROI? Well, not even ROI. Well, yeah, ROI, I guess, return investment. How many dollars are you raising for the dollars that you're spending? That's the bottom line. When your Facebook ads are not bringing in the dollars they ought to be, it's time to, to stop your Facebook ads, call it a day, and hire us. Again, another shameless plug for crowdfund buzz. We're going to wrap up this conversation, and I'm going to bring it all home in a crashing crescendo of intelligence in terms of crowdfunding wisdom. Okay, to, to bring this home, let's go to a couple more here. I'm going to talk about all new things here. Um, these guys are clients back in 2018. We just rolled out today a new campaign for them. Very much targeted to their attending the Con Expo here in Las Vegas starting on Tuesday. Uh, and that strategy. Anyways, um, we have to raise a lot of money. We're doing it again in round two. Go, uh, hit us up on Twitter and Facebook, uh, Instagram, watch our posts. Uh, and realize that we're, we organically engage people. And, and we're fixed fee. You pay us once, and we're working for you during a campaign's duration up to six months for one fixed fee. No surprises, no big Facebook ad bills, no nothing. But two more things to think about about Facebook ads. Um... A client, a, a, a client we spoke to recently spent $5,000 on Facebook ads. And we're not going to name him. I mean, the man de deserves his respect and privacy. He burned through $5,000 in cash in Facebook ads and ended up with $2,000 in investments. You know, as, as the cliche goes, don't let that happen to you. Don't spend five to get two. That I mean, that's just upside down bad math. Another client uh, had a good experience at the outset with Facebook ads, but what he learned to his horror is that over time, he was actually losing money on every investor he brought in. Uh, I think the number was broken down to for every $1 he spent on his Facebook advertising, he got 30 cents of new investment capital. I mean, holy shit. So I'm not slamming Facebook ads. I'm not coming down on WeFunder or Start Engine. I'm not here to name shame anybody. But I hope this video was educational to you in realizing that Facebook ads are important, but they're not the be-all, end-all. They're not a panacea. It's not going to get you to um, paradise. But it can be a stepping stone and one tool of your toolbox to get more investors. But pay attention to them. Reply to comments uh, continually. Don't let any comments sit for more than a day, good or bad. Be in there, address it, speak to it, uh, focus on it, and pay attention to when your ads go wrong. When your ad runs off the rails, and, we, and you've seen examples and examples and examples, when your Facebook ads run off the rails, stop them. And I think that Hiring us is a good way to balance out your efforts because we do great public relations. We'll get you published in newspapers. We'll get you on television. We'll get you on radio. 
and will get you a broader audience organically and naturally, which I think will be a very big difference because people automatically don't trust ads. What are you selling me? Um, as some ads we, we saw, this is a scam. That's a scam. The CEO is making 30000 a month. Blah, blah, blah. Houses, cars, and boats. Um, maybe true, maybe not true, but that's the public perception. And that's where public relations makes a big difference because we identify that in advance. We account for it. We allow for it. We plan for it. And we work with it to your benefit. Anyways, Howard Sherman here for Crowdfund Buzz signing off. I hope I made your hour entertaining, engaging, and meaningful. And I hope you hire us because uh, we like making sales, but we love helping people. And what we do is a fixed flat rate, no shock, no high bills. You know what you're getting. You know how long you're getting it for. And we do bring results. We'll show you that too. Thank you. Have a great day. Make more money. God bless America. And let's go mix. Let's get paid.